heuristics, biases, and mistakes. In this lecture, we will talk about heuristics, biases, and mistakes. There's a lot of evidence that people frequently rely on heuristics. So first, we want to understand what a heuristic is. A uh, heuristic is a mental shortcut used in judgment and decision making. You can also think of it as some kind of rule of thumb. This heuristic reduces the effort necessary for solving a complex task. For example, if you want, need to assess probabilities or predictive values, you can come up with a heuristic which simplifies this task. By simplifying the task, the heuristic speeds up cognition. And in many situations, the results of the heuristic are quite accurate. This means the rule of thumb gives you a result which is close to the result of the, of the real problem. So you get a good approximation using the heuristic. However, in other situations, this heuristic produces incorrect answers. And these mistakes, these systematic mistakes due to heuristics are called biases. There are several important biases and we will have a closer look at them, at, at some of them in this lecture. At this point, I will already mention a few of them. So take for example, anchoring. Anchoring is a cognitive bias which describes that individuals typically depend too heavily on an initial piece of information offered when making the decision. They then take this initial information as an anchor and adjust only insufficiently. As a consequence, the solution or the estimate they come up with is biased towards that anchor. Another important heuristic is the availability heuristic. The availability heuristic is based on the idea that if something can be easily recalled, it must be more important or at least more important than an alternative solution that did not come to your mind that easily. This then implies that people tend to heavily weigh their judgment toward more recent information which it's easier to, to uh, recall and making new opinions biased toward latest news. Another important effect is the, the framing effect. The framing effect is also a cognitive bias where people decide on options based on how they are framed. For example, they decide differently when a payment is described as a loss or described as a gain. So, for example, it's often observed that people tend to avoid risk when a positive frame is used, but on the other hand are more risk-seeking when the frame it is presented in is more negatively. Finally, I want to also mention the sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy describes that you continue a behavior as a result of previously invested resources. Because you invested, you will stick to something. So, for example, you, you go to the movies, you bought a ticket for the cinema, and after a few minutes, you notice that you absolutely do not enjoy the movie. However, instead of leaving, you stay because you paid for the movie. Uh, paying for the movie or should not have an influence on how you behave once you've noticed that you do not like the movie. So here you make a second mistake, staying in a movie you do not like because you invested in it earlier. And maybe you uh, want, to, want to compare the situation and ask yourself, 
are you more likely to to leave the cinema if you notice that the film um, is not enjoyable for you than switching to another movie on let's say netflix where you do not did not pay for for this exact movie what is the goal or what are the goals of this lecture so in this lecture on heuristics biases and mistakes i want you to develop an awareness of the use of heuristics you should know in which situations people typically rely on heuristics and what their consequence or what their likely consequences Furthermore, you should become aware of the most frequent biases and learn about their implications. On the one hand, knowing about these frequent biases, as biases are mistakes, knowing them can help you to avoid these mistakes. If you know about them, you can take measures to, to counter them in some sense. But also, if you know about the biases of others, you can try to exploit them. And you will also see how certain biases can be exploit, exploited. Finally, the third goal is to understand how these biases influence behavior in settings relevant for operations management. I mean, this is a class on operations and so we will try to understand in which operation settings the biases we, we learn about are of, of special importance and how they uh, affect situations which often come up in operations.